so I'm going to play Gothic, uh, another old game that I enjoyed before. I'm just checking to see if all my settings are alright. Um, I set them previously so I should be okay. Um, I don't care about resolution because it doesn't seem to make much difference. Um, and I'm using alternative setting for my keyboard with some uh, customization for myself. So let's start a new adventure. The kingdom of Murtana, united by King Robar II. During the long years of his reign, he was able to defeat all foes of his realm. All except one. the orcs took its toll and the prisoners of the realm were to pay the price. The king needed swords for his army and every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinus. To make it impossible for them to escape, the king sent out the best magicians of the kingdom to create a magic barrier around the entire valley. I was one of them. Uh, something disturbed the delicate structure of magic. We were trapped inside our own barrier. One second of negligence was enough for the prisoners. Corinus was now under the control of the convicts. The king had no choice. He had to negotiate. He needed the ore. Month after month, the king supplied everything the prisoners needed. Month after month, they brought the ore to the edge of the barrier in exchange. Until the present day, another convict was brought to the cliff. He did not know, but he would change everything. In the name of King Robar II, bearer of the scepter of Verant, I sentence this convict to... Stop! Convict, I've got an offer to make you. This letter must reach the leader of the Magicians of Fire. You're wasting your time. You may choose your own reward. They'll give you anything you ask for. Very well. I'll take your letter. On one condition. Spare me the rest of his nonsense. How dare you? Keep silent. Right. Send him in. Welcome to the colony. That's enough. Leave him alone. And now, scram. Get up. I'm Diego. I'm... I'm not interested in who you are. You've just arrived. I look after the new arrivals. That's all for now. If you plan to stay alive for a while, you should talk to me. But of course, I won't keep you from choosing your own destruction. Well, what do you think? Hmm. Um... Let's be a bit naive. I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Really? I was given it by a mage shortly before they threw me in here. You're lucky I can't afford to show my face around the mages anymore. Anyone else would gladly slit your throat for that letter. That's because the mages pay their couriers a lot, and most people here don't have anything. If I were you, I'd shut up until I met one of the mages. 
Although in your situation, that's not likely to happen. Why not? The mages are in the castle in the old camp. Only Gomez's people are allowed to enter the castle. All right. So, you know, that was useful because now we know that we shouldn't go around telling everybody about that. <laughs> so, who's Gomez? You know. Who's Gomez? Gomez is the most powerful ore baron. He's the boss of the old camp, the most powerful man in the colony. Okay. Um... Uh, I'm not too interested in, uh, in joining his people. Let's look uh, around first. But, uh, yeah, wait, why did you help me? Why did you help me? Because you needed help. Otherwise, Bullet and his boys might have killed you. And I couldn't just stand by and watch. Because I came all this way to make a suggestion. A suggestion? Yes. After this little incident with Bullet and his guys, you should be aware now that you need protection. Everyone who arrives here has a choice. There are three camps in the colony, and you'll have to join one of them. I'm here to show the new ones that the old camp is the best place for them. Hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, well, what, what would I need to do to join? That makes sense to ask that now. Let's assume I want to join his people. What do I need to do? At the gate of the castle, you'll find a man called Thoris. Tell him Diego sent you. Okay, that's easy enough. Um, so what else do I need to know? Okay, what do I need to know about this place? We call it the Colony. You'll know already that we produce ore for the King. Well, at least we do, in the Old Camp. There are three camps within the barrier. The Old Camp is the biggest, and it was the first. Okay. Um... So how do I get there? How do I get to the old camp? You just follow this path. The old camp is the next reasonably safe looking place you'll come across. There are a lot of wild beasts between the camps. You'd be mad to walk around without a weapon. Well, where do I get one? Where do I get a weapon? When you get to the old mine, have a look around. I'm sure you'll find something useful. Okay. The mine is easy to find. It's just a few meters along the canyon. Um, yeah, let's just ask him as well. Will that do that attack me? He's not going to be waiting for me around the corner, is he? Where's Bullet now? He and the others bring the goods from the outside world into the camp. You'll find him there. But if you plan to fight him, be careful. He's an experienced warrior. Okay, I wasn't planning to fight him yet, but thanks. Thanks for your help. We'll meet in the old camp. Oh, there we go chapter one all done um right controls in this game are um a bit clunky i must say um you can actually uh follow diego uh he walks all the way to the camp if you do that if you don't follow him which i am doing he will just um disappear i think at one point and I picked up a torch, which is fun. Uh, I like having a torch. Uh, let's see. Spear or Ooh. that is the barrier. If you keep going, you get zapped. We can light fires with our torch, which is why I like having a torch. I just like lighting all the fires. They light, they light automatically when the when when it goes dark when it when it's evening. But I like just lighting them sometimes. This game allows you to do a lot of useless but atmospheric things, like lighting torches, or if you have a spoon, you can stir a kettle, uh, things like that. Uh, look at that. So there's two guards from the old camp. Oh, I thought I was going to climb the ladder, but instead I decided to. So ladder climbing, you can go up and down. You don't have to climb the whole thing immediately. Um, 
and the controls are a bit annoying because you have the action button which I set to be either one of my control buttons depending on what I'm doing and um, and then you have to use a direction button to actually take an action so action just focuses on a thing and then press the direction button to do it which means that for everything you do you need you know at least two fingers if not two hands um, which is one of the reasons why I set both of my control keys is so I can use pinky finger chest right so what have we here some beers uh, coins which doesn't seem to have a picture um, some arrows some more torches and a pick clock that's good oh, right. leave that I noticed the blueberries are bright red for some reason I don't know why it makes no sense but this is the old mine so we should have a weapon here pickaxe there we go it's not the best but it'll do for now we quickly pick up something better I'm sure um, even for equipping it it's the uh, control plus direction button all right so there's a beastie up there which I can attack with my pickaxe or I could come back when I've got something better you'll come back here it's a fairly as long as you stay within the barrier you can explore freely um, although many many areas are very unsuitable for just walking into um, they're not lying when they say you shouldn't just wander around without a weapon um, or if you don't know what you're doing because you will die and I'm not the best and the clunky controls combined with me being kind of a shitty gamer means that I'll probably be doing a lot of running away from beasts so this old sword is a lot better than our pickaxe because damage of 12 required strength 10 but I think we have that um, let me just um, Aha. So B for some reason is my character screen. So we got zero experience, zero level. We need 500 to level up. And these are all things that we can learn throughout the game. So we've got a strength of 10, dexterity of 10. We always start the same way. There's no customization here. Uh, customization starts when you start learning, um, learning different skills and stuff. Uh, so we have no protection because we're just wearing clothes, of course. No armor. Um, we're unskilled at everything. As you will notice when we start using our weapon. And we can't sneak and we can't do acrobatics. So we're kind of shit at everything at the moment. Let's check our journal. So we've got one mission. We haven't got any information. We'll check admission to the old cap. Be allowed to join Gomez's people in the old camp. I need to see Soros. Indeed, I do. Okay. So, uh, we've equipped our sword. Yes. So, let's go attack that uh, weird chicken thing. So, space bar equips your weapon. As you can see, I'm really unskilled because. Who the hell holds a one-handed sword with two hands? An unskilled fighter. So we do have some learning to do. Uh, there we go, 40 experience. And we got some raw meat off of that, so that's good. We also got hit a little bit, but that's not... Uh, I can live with that. We'll have a lot of that. <laughs> Get used to being hurt. 
Right, try to pick up those last two arrows. There we go. And that one. Right, get the torch back. Torches do burn out, I think, eventually. I don't think you can uh, use them forever. So you do want several of them, especially later game when it's safe to walk around at night because it'll get really dark. And also um, in, uh, what's it called? Uh, dungeons, dungeons are dark. Hmm. Beautiful welcome here. Uh, we have a better weapon now, so I'm going to go back and uh, across the bridge and check out that other beastie. See if we can get rid of that, which we can, I'm sure. So yeah, the, there's lots of monsters and beasts around and the game is very good at telling you when you should or should not approach. You will die if you're in an area where you shouldn't be. <laughs> Even if you think you should be there, he will still die. <laughs> I'm going to save uh, just to get uh, save started. So um, just start. I'm not used to having to name my own save games. That's such an old, old thing. They don't do that anymore. Okay, let's focus on it. So the action uh, <laughs> Damn you! Trying to hit you! There we go. Right. So the action button allows you to focus on uh, whatever creature you're trying to murder. And your uh, your character will automatically sort of spin in its direction if you don't click, uh, if you don't use the directional key to attack. So it's all a bit confusing if you're used to just mouse clicking. Uh, this rusty sword I don't think is better than my old sword. No, it is not. It requires less strength, and but it's not as good. It's like two two points less damage. So, ooh, some rice snack. Awesome. Um, right. Let's see if there's anything else we can loot. Seems to be it for here. Okay. Pick up our torch again. We can climb that, uh, which I will do actually. There we go. It's the same button as the the jump button. Uh, right. What do we have here? Some beer, some more coin, and some arrows. Good. Would be nice if we found a bow somewhere at some point. But I have everything. Uh, let's pick up. That person had the worst day ever. Smashed by boulders and a pickaxe in his head. I don't know which came first. But either way, bad. Right. So. That's it for here. Let's jump back up. And continue making our way to the old camp. I'm also just going to check if there's anything I can eat or drink. Beer, there's nothing. Ah, raw meat. I'm not going to eat raw meat. Um, that seems unhealthy. Even though it gives you 10 life bonus. But so do blueberries, so. And rice schnapps or beer don't do anything let me check does it say how much health i've got here or anywhere no it doesn't hmm. oh yeah it does sorry life under attributes so i've got 29 out of 40 points at the moment so if i eat one blueberry 
I should be fine. Uh, hop, hop. Perfect. That was crunchy and delicious. Off we go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's a shame the graphics are a bit bad. Um, like many older 3D games have the same issue where obviously they age rather badly like it's in a way it's easier to play an old isometric game than it is to play these old 3d games just because isometric at least looks nice uh, whereas this 3d stuff it, it just looks dated unfortunately But I don't, it doesn't bother me enough to not want to play it. I, oh, we're good at killing these birds now. Let's get cocky. Let's have a nice view here. So we can look around with the mouse as well. Um, can look up and down pretty much I think the only thing you use the mouse for have a river there which is pretty cool because as old as this game is which I don't actually know how old it is exactly but I'd say early 2000s something like that probably um, the, the river actually flows around like in Skyrim and it has um, current so you can swim along the current which makes you a lot faster or swim against the current which makes it you slower i have used in the past this fast current swimming to my advantage mainly to get away from <laughs> monsters trying to kill me <laughs> so yeah just pick up everything you come across um, I don't know if your inventory can get full. You probably can at some point, but there's no point in leaving stuff as long as you can carry it. Um, you can at least sell it. Also, this letter, the seal must not be opened. You can actually read it, but I'm not going to. Because it's none of my business. And I know I'm probably some sort of criminal for being tossed into this prison, but that doesn't mean I have no honor and I'm also guessing you know as someone who was probably dealt with less than legal businesses that people don't take kindly to poking your nose where it doesn't belong and rewards tend to be bigger if you do a job as requested and don't ask any questions so uh, that's exactly what I'll do There's some friends. Old. We can talk to hello. Maybe. So as you can see, these are if in blue. Think. Well, the previous characters had red, so this Shoot. game is handy color coded. Hang red on, people, old camp, blue anything. people, new camp. Let's uh, let's have a Rely word with somebody. these. You're in trouble. You think? That's how we go. Hello. You're hunting, aren't you? Looks like it. What do you want? Do you have some hints for the hunt? I could teach you a few things, but everything has its price. Which would be how much? A good gulp of beer will do. To start with, then we'll see. As it happens, I have some beers on me. Here you are. Take a beer and tell me about hunting. Scavengers. That's what we call the big birds should be attacked one after the other. It's easy to lure single scavengers from the pack. If you come too close, they'll become irritated. After a while, they'll storm in your direction. At this point, you should be waiting for them with a raised weapon. If you manage to strike the beast before it hits you, you have to keep fighting. Then you'll be able to defeat the creature without being hurt yourself. 
If it hits you first, well, just don't let them. Okay. Because as you may have noticed, the first two birdie things we attacked were actually juvenile scavengers. So, not fully grown adult mature ones. So they're a lot weaker, obviously. So, he's not going to tell me much more, I'm assuming, because he wanted payment, but let's ask anyway. What else can you tell me about hunting? A lot, but it'll cost you more than a beer, if you know how. You can take the creature's teeth, claws, and skin. It's hard to get them, but they are valuable. At least every merchant will trade those things with you. See, these all cost a skill point and a lot of um, ore. Um, I can point that out to him. He's asking a lot. But they are definitely worth it and I would advise anyone who's ever going to play this game to get as many of these as possible as soon as possible just because that ore will pay itself back quickly I might be giving terrible advice here but it's my preference you're demanding a lot for your advice Possibly, but you can earn a lot of ore with this knowledge. All the animals you kill without knowing how to cut them up will just rot away. That's a wasted opportunity of skinning them and selling the fur at a high price. If I were you, I'd try to gain this knowledge as soon as possible. He is right. And uh, personally, I have in the past gone out of my way to try to not kill as many creatures until I actually got all of these uh, skills just so I could get more money because <laughs> money is uh, not too easy to get by it's not it's not like in um, Elder Scrolls for example where you get an infinite source of cash pretty easily um, also, there's no respawning of animals um, per chapter. So even even if you do know how to skin things, if you've already gone around and killed all the low-level creatures, then either you're stuck trying to hunt down the big ones, or you'll have to wait until the next chapter when they respawn. But at the moment, I have no skill points or enough ore, unfortunately. Hey, you! What do you want? I want to warn you. If you continue this way, you'll be entering our hunting ground. Oh, yeah. So, hunting those birds, I gather? What do you hunt? Mostly scavengers. There's a lot of meat on them. Besides, it ain't too hard to get them. Once you know how. Really? How's that? Ask my friend Drax here. He knows more about these things than anyone. I just did, actually. So it's dangerous because I'm assuming there's a lot of things that will kill you. Why is this area so dangerous? You've just arrived, haven't you? There are different areas in this colony which are all more or less dangerous. The paths between the camps are quite safe, but even there you might come across some wolves which look on you as uh, easy prey. And that's exactly what you are until you get a proper weapon and armor. Indeed. So, where can I get this better equipment? I mean, Diego gave us a bit of a hint, but we already checked the old mine and it only got us a pickaxe. Where can I get better equipment? The nearest place is that old camp. Just follow the path that brought you here. But you can get the stuff cheaper in our new camp, provided you know the right people. If you go to the old camp, ask for more drag. He's one of us. For just a little ore, he'll sell you the proper goods. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, tell me a bit more about all these different areas, then. Tell me more about the areas of the colony. If you travel between the camps, you'll need a map to distinguish paths and dead ends. Dead ends often lead you to dangerous canyons, where you encounter creatures you'd better avoid. Do not enter the old ruins. There are too many around here, and most of them are old fortifications dating back to the time of the First Orc War. Some are abandoned orc dwellings. There are often orcs in those ruins. 
or even worse creatures. I'd avoid those places, especially at night. And one more hint, don't go into the forest. Yeah, this is very good tips, actually. Uh, where can I get a map? Where do I get a map? Ask the people in the old camp. There's a cartographer living there. M maybe you can steal one of his maps. If you manage to do it, take one from me as well. I will. Uh, <laughs> I am a criminal. I mean, I'm assuming I was thrown into... I, I know they say they throw in people for stupid reasons nowadays because they need the workers. But I'm going to assume I wasn't the most uh, upstanding citizen. If not, not evil, but you know. So yeah, if I get them without paying, I'll take all of them. If I manage to get them without paying, I'll take as many as I can carry. You're all right. You should consider coming to the new camp. In case you go there, ask for Lars. He takes care of the new ones. I'm sure he'll have a job for you. Ah, cool. Thanks. Thanks for your help. Don't go thinking everyone's going to be so friendly, kid. There may not be much in a newcomer's pockets, but some folks would even beat you up for a pickaxe. I'll keep it in mind. Done. Good. And meanwhile, we were standing in the rain. I remember when I first played this, I thought the thunderstorms looked awesome. I still, I still really like any sort of thunderstorms in games. They always sound incredible, much better than real life ones, actually. But um, it's clearing up now. And he is right. You don't want to go out at night because I have noticed in previous playthroughs that there's actually more animals roaming the paths at night, like wolves and things will come out of the forest and onto the paths that seem safe during the day. Let's see if we can kill this one. Ah, shit. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So, Either they or that guard you see walking off in the distance must have killed it for me. Oh well. Still still taking the thing, I guess. So yeah, uh, your f friendly people will help you in fights. Uh, that guard also took care of this one. So I don't have to. Which also means I don't get the experience, unfortunately. But such is life. Um... Yeah. It's starting to become evening, I think, judging by the sky. Um, right. Hello. Hi, I'm new here. Hi, I'm new here. How nice for you. Nobody cares. So, that uh, giant camp over there that looks like what Diego told me about is the thing Diego told me about. Is that the old camp over there? No, that's the new camp. The old camp is underneath the bridge. Oh, sarcasm, eh? Let me pass. Oh, God, sorry. Uh, hello. What are you doing here? What's it look like? Regarding the bridge, of course. We make sure that no beasts cross the bridge. Hmm. Good. 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 I'm not going to ask him for advice. Make sure you get to the old camp. They're holding a pickaxe for you. Hehe! <laughs> because uh, I'm guessing that what will happen is they'll just make fun of me. He's going to say something like, I've got some advice, try not to get punched in the face. Or stop asking stupid questions. So I'm not going to. Just going to light my torches still. So this is the old camp safety. I'll be stuck around this area for a bit, I guess. Um, 
up until I can get to the new camp. Uh, I vaguely remember that as a newbie, it's it's pretty suicidal to try to make your way to any of the other camps by yourself. But there are people you can meet who will offer to take you to the camp and they will kill any beast on their way. So you just stick by them. Um, but that is... Uh, they'll only kill what they'll come across. So if you need to go back and forth, you're on your own. Because you can only take them up on that offer once. As far as I remember. So, I should probably get into the camp. Now let's check my inventory. Right, I've got all this nice food and stuff. And some weapons. Um, how much? I've got two ore nuggets. That isn't too much. And this coin. I don't even know what to use this coin for because it says it has no value. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, pick locks. The lock picking in this game is very interesting because all the locks are set. I think they're not uh, mini games exactly. I'll have to try to. Where do you think you're going? To the camp. You ain't come to make trouble, have you? Uh. No, no, Diego told me to meet him here. Diego says I'm to meet him in the camp. Okay, in you go then. Good, good. Uh, any news? Any news? Nah, everything's the same as ever. Okay. Well, at least he's not, um, you know, actively angry at me. So I need to look for this guy called Thoris. And tell him that Diego's looking, uh, Diego sent me. Yeah, and with the, with the lock picking, it's hard to explain what it's like if you've never seen it. You basically have to, like everything, use your action key and press the arrow keys left or right in the correct order. So a lock could be two lefts and one right, for example. But the locks are set. Uh, so once you've played the game once, all the locks the next time are the exact same. When I used to play this, I had a cheat sheet for all the uh, for all the different locks in the game, so that because your lockpicks break if you do it wrong. So, meanwhile, I am doing uh, providing everyone with some light. So let's uh, let's see. Some people never learn. What I do like about the atmospheric conversations in this game is they're not whole uh, conversations they're just those things you you overhear a bit and it sort of always makes sense what they're saying because it's so generic uh, i think that dude might be thoris actually he looks important let's not talk to him just yet hi diego and a guy named grim let's talk to diego Hi, I made it. Um, yeah, tell me something about the old camp. Tell me something about the old camp. It's the biggest and most powerful of the three camps. Gomez and his guys control the camp and thereby the whole ore trade. Once a month, the king sends us everything we need. We've got the old guy in our grip, you understand? He sends us wine, bread, meat, weapons, everything. You can also get some of it. All you have to do is join Gomez's people. Sounds good. What about the other two camps? Because I've met some people from the new camp, but I don't know anything about the third camp yet. In character, that is. What about the two other camps? The two other camps split up to pursue their crazy escape plans. There's the new camp in the west of the colony, where the mages think they can just detonate the barrier as soon as they've scraped enough ore together. And then there's the sect loonies in the east. Their camp is in the middle of the swamp, and they're praying to their idol to set them free. He hasn't responded so far. Hmm. 
If I were you, I wouldn't waste my time on those madcaps. Uh, yeah, what about the barrier? Tell me more about the barrier. There isn't much to tell. It's impenetrable. What happens if I just walk out of here? The last one who tried that reached the other side a dead man. This damn barrier lets you in, but you'll never get out of here. If there's a way out, I'll find it. You're already in a rush to get out of here? But you've only just arrived. Hmm. Yes, I am. Take care. See, to me, just the other camp sound interesting just because, you know, they're trying to look for a way out instead of just being complacent with, oh well, you know. Shadow. Let's talk to him. Let's talk about something else instead. Hello. Story every time. Things would have gone very differently. You shouldn't believe everything I want to know what this camp has to offer. Then you better ask the diggers. They don't have anything to do all day anyway. Mm. Mm, how's it going? Well, how's it going? What do you want? Sorry. Um... So the shadows are a faction within the old camp, I'm sure. Who's the boss of this place? Diego's what you might call the head of the shadows. But Thoris decides who gets to see Gomez. So I can ask generic directions. Where can I find Thoris? Where can I find Thoris? He usually stands at the castle entrance. So yeah, it is that guy. So let's go talk to Thoris then. I mean, I think it's about the only thing we have to do at the moment. So, uh, let's see. Hello. Uh, yeah, you don't, uh, well, that's obvious, but yeah. You don't look as though you'd just let anyone get into the castle. Only Gomez's men are allowed in the castle. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to tell him that because Diego gave us the information um, saying that it would be a very stupid idea to go around telling people we've got a letter for the high mage. So I'm not going to tell him that. Um, um, I'm not going to tell him that yet. I'm going to ask, uh, maybe I want to work for this Gomez dude. I want to work for Gomez. Oh, yeah? And what makes you think Gomez will be interested in having you work for him? I don't know. Well, yeah, Diego says you do that. Yeah, indeed. Diego says you decide who Gomez is interested in. Huh? If Diego thinks you're okay, why doesn't he take care of you? Look, let me explain. Diego's going to test you. If he thinks you're good enough, I'll let you into the castle to see Gomez. Whatever happens after that is up to you, okay? I'll talk to Diego. Okay. So why why did Diego send me to you in the first place, actually? Yeah. Why, why don't you give me the test? It ain't that easy, kid. Any newcomer who wants to get anywhere needs a patron. That patron has to be one of Gomez's people. He'll test you. And if you fail, you're his responsibility. That's the law around here. Okay. Yeah, let's try to get into his good books. You know, everybody wants something done, especially in a place like this. There must be something you want done. No, the things we guards deal with are a bit above you, kid. You just stick to the tasks your patron sets for you. That's fair enough. Ooh, shall I try to convince him that I can do it? Maybe not now, but maybe eventually. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a capable man. I'm a bit. Sure, I, I killed those scavenger juveniles without too much issue. <laughs> I'm quite capable of doing anything you tell me to. Oh, so you're intent on failing, eh? There is one thing that only someone who's not with Gomez can see to. But I'm warning you, you blow this and you'll be in mighty big trouble. Ooh, that sounds interesting. So, tell me, tell me, tell me. 
I'm ready for your task. What I'm about to tell you is between you and me, and nobody else must ever hear about it. Understood? Sure. We have a problem with a guy from the new camp. His name's Mordrag. He's been stealing from the Ore Barons. Of course, that applies to a lot of the rogues in the new camp. But this guy has the nerve to come to our camp and sell our stolen goods to our boys. He's gone too far. But he knows I can't do anything about it. Why? Because he's under the protection of the mages. Hmm. Interesting. Um, so wh why exactly do they protect him? Why do the mages protect that Mordrag? Because they use him as a gopher. Our local mages are in contact with the mages over in the new camp. They often send gophers back and forth. They're likely to become very unpleasant if I throw one of their gophers out of the camp or have him killed. What about me? What do you think the mages will do to me? You're new here. You'll be okay. But I'm responsible for what my boys do. That's why it's vital that you keep your mouth shut. That's uh, fair enough. Um... No, he doesn't want me to kill him at all. He just wants me to get rid of him. So that's a stupid question. But uh, yeah, tell me where I can find him because the other guys from the new camp also told me that he's. Uh, I'll be able to buy stuff off of him, so I want to find him anyway. Where can I find Mordred? You'll find him at the south gate on the other side of the castle, just beyond the entrance. The bastard wouldn't dare come any further into the camp. Okay. So I'll take care of that. Yeah, sure. I can do that. I'll take care of it. Right. Uh, that's it for my talk with this guy. Let's go back to Diego. Hey, Diego. He sent me back to you now. People always talk. Somebody, that sun. You're in trouble. People sun setting. Always talk. So People always talk. that must be the West. Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. That's how it goes. Let's talk about something else instead. Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. That's how it goes. So, you shouldn't okay. believe everything Diego. you hear. Hello. Let's talk about something else instead. You have to watch what you say. I've talked to that dude. I've talked to Thoris. And what did he say? He says that I can join the old camp if you think that I'm good enough. Looks like I have myself a new job. Do we start right now? First, there are a few things you should know. Like what? What do I have to know to be accepted in the old camp? If you want to join the camp, you'll have to earn some brownie points. There are a few influential people in the outer ring. Most of them are shadows. If you manage to impress them, it'll earn you a few brownie points. Then you'll have to stand the test of faith. Besides, there are a lot of skills every new arrival has to learn. The more you learn, the more valuable you'll be for us. That makes sense. So, um, yeah, where do I find all these important people? Where do I find the important people? Well, you're looking at one of them. Then there's Thoris. You already know him. As for the others, you'll have to find that out by yourself. If you don't manage to do that, you don't belong here anyway. Just go through the outer ring and talk to people. Then you'll find out who's important. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, who can teach me stuff then? Who can teach me? Start with Fingers. He's the most skillful among us. If you keep your eyes peeled, you'll find other people who can teach you. Where can I find Fingers? His hut's kind of hidden. It's next to the castle wall. Just start out here and go towards the arena. When you're at the castle gate, Go down to the left, and you'll be heading for the arena. It was okay. That there would be trouble um, can you teach me anything? If you can you teach me something? Yes. I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. Super. Um, I don't have any skill points available, though. So we'll get back Come to back that. soon. There are many things you need to learn. I'm sure. I do like the barrier in the back whenever there's a uh, thunderstorm or rain. Um, what's the test of faith that I need to do? What's the test of faith? You have to go to the old mine. There you'll meet a guy called Ian. He'll give you a list. This list is important. It contains all the items the guys in the mine need from us. They'll get the stuff with the next convoy. 
No problem. Yes, there is a problem. The new camp must not get that list. Like I said, the list is important. If you do it right, you'll get much further. Mm -hmm. So why would he give it to me if it's that important? I mean, nobody knows who I am. If the list is so important, why should Ian give it to me? Because you're going to tell him Diego sent you. I'll tell him. Seems easy enough. Uh, where is this old mine? Where can I find the old mine? Go to Graham. He's a cartographer. Tell him that I sent you and that you need a map. It'll show you the way to the mine. He lives to the left of the north gate. That had been cleared up ages ago. Left of the north gate, so my esteem within the camp at the moment is pro again. probably close to zero, so I'm not going to ask about Take that. care. So Graham, the cartographer, that's the guy that the new camp guy told me about as well, I think. Um, so I need to find him, see if I can maybe steal a map, potentially. That won't happen again. Uh, North Gate, he said. This is the North Gate. I think he lives in, in one of those huts over there. But what I'm going to do first is... Check. Yeah, there's a little pan over there. For a light to suit fire. It's getting a bit dark. Gravel. Oh yeah, there's a guy, uh, guy up there as well with a name. Talk to him. Must be something about that story uh, after Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Well, since I stopped working in the mine, I can't really complain. And where do you get your ore from? I help people who have problems. If you get into trouble with influential people here, I can help you sort the thing out. Okay. How? If I was in trouble, you could help me. How? Well, let's assume you're in trouble with Thoris. You better never get into trouble with him, but then, well, you never know. Thoris can be quite stubborn. When he's pissed off with you once, he'll never talk to you again. And that's a bad thing. As a greenhorn, you depend on him. So you come to see me. I know a lot of people here Thoris listens to. They put in a good word for you, and Thoris is your friend again. Of course, the boys want to see some ore for these kind of favors. Your ore. And I take care that your ore gets to the right people. That's fair enough. Um, I'm not in trouble, I think. But yeah. Could you tell me which of the shadows belongs to the influential people here? You ought to impress the right people, do you? Yeah. Diego has the most power of all the shadows. He trusts Fingers, Whistler, and Sly. Dexter and Fisk sell their stuff on the market square. They have many customers, even the guards. And that makes them rather influential. And then there's Scatty. He's in charge of the arena and determines who fights and all that. Many people here owe him ore. He's important as well. Okay, thanks. That, that was actually really useful. I must admit, I don't think I ever fought in the arena. Because it's so different. So we can cook our uh, meat that we get from the scavengers here. So you could just leave the animation on for as long as you want. But, you know, I'm doing it a bit unrealistically. Considering it it's a bit boring otherwise. So now all of this is grilled meat and it actually gives us a 15 life bonus instead of 10. So that's good, isn't it? It's awesome. Right. Climb up here. I doubt it's ever likely to change. So, who have we here? Bigger? That's interesting. I'm just going to light your fire for I'd you. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's talk to this dude. He looks interesting. Some people of course. Hello. I'm new here. Who are you? 
I am Baal Taran of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. Okay. What is the Brotherhood of the Sleeper? We're a community of believers in a new faith. Our camp is situated in the east, in the swamp. I've come to preach the words of the sleeper to strangers like you. So who, who is the sleeper exactly? Who is the sleeper? The sleeper is our redeemer. He disclosed himself five years ago through Eberion, our master. Since then, we have renounced the three gods, and you should do so as well. The gods just stood by and watched while we were exiled to this prison. But the sleeper will lead us to freedom. I'm sure he will. Um, how does he prove himself to you? How does your god prove his might? He speaks to us through visions. Whoever hears his voice, no longer doubts his might. If you take the weed which grows in the swamp, you will be close to the sleeper and able to hear him. Some people even see images. I see. Nah, swamp weed, eh? Um, um, no, he won't be able to help me get into the castle, I think. He's got nothing to do with the old camp. Um, what are the teachings of this sleeper? Tell me about the sleeper's teachings. The sleeper is a powerful being, maybe even more powerful than Inos, the god of light. He is with us in spirit, but his power is still limited. He has been sleeping for a thousand years, but now the moment of his awakening is near. He has chosen us to be witnesses to his awakening and to spread his word. So listen, all those who join the sleeper will have immortal souls, but those who are against him will be punished. But the sleeper is compassionate and sends proof of his might to all who doubt him. Mm. Right, so... Yeah, what, what is your way to freedom? Um, how do you intend to break free of this prison? What will the way to freedom look like? We are preparing a great invocation of the sleeper, in which all novices create the contact together. In this invocation, the sleeper will reveal the path to freedom. Hmm. That seems very wishy-washy. I'm not sure if I am... Uh, if I feel like that is a practical way of going about things. So how do I get to your camp? Well, just going to ask. Maybe he does have a way into the castle. I need to get into the castle. Can you help me? I fear I cannot, brother. The only ones among us who may enter the castle are those who supply the weed to Gomez. We gather swamp weed and sell part of it to the old camp in exchange for goods from the outside world. If you were one of the couriers working for Kor Kalom, you could get into the castle, but for that, you would need to be one of us. What do you want to do in the castle anyway? I, I'm not telling you. I, I am not going to tell him that. I, uh, I'm just going to say I need to meet somebody there. Yeah. I want to meet somebody there. Do you? Who? And why don't you just wait until he comes out? He never comes out. It's none of your business, dude. Stop asking all these questions. That's none of your business. Fine, man. I just wanted to help. I'm sure you did, but... Uh, how do I get to your camp? Also, I don't like how that guard in the back is looking at me. I want him to leave. <laughs> how do I get to the Brotherhood's camp? I'm busy. But Baal Parvez should be somewhere in this camp as well. He's near the marketplace, on the other side of the castle. I believe he's even got his own hut there. <laughs> Good. So, that guard looks like he's trying to talk to me. And I think I remember who it is. Uh, uh, this is going to be a problem, but... Go on then. I thought that had been cleared up ages ago. Hey, you! Are you talking to me? I'm warning you, people like you can get into trouble awfully quick round here. And most of the guys they chuck in here are bastards. 
They think they can do what they like to you, but we won't allow that. Gomez wants some peace in the camp, and we guards make sure he gets it. But it's a job that doesn't come cheap. That's why I'm asking you for some ore. Look on it as a kind of token of friendship. You help us, and we'll help you. If you get in trouble, we'll be there for you. Mm, sure. Um, um, see, I'm not, I don't, that, that bottom one is like, no, I'm not going to, I don't want to pay him, although I'll probably get beaten up for this, and they'll take my money anyway, because that's how it works in this game, uh, you can actually beat up anyone, I think, without too much consequence. With your fists, or even with a sword, and as long as you don't deal a death blow, they don't die, they just go unconscious, you just get uh, a moment of time to rob them of everything they've got, <laughs> and then uh, they, they get up again. Um, in some cases I think it's actually a solution to some sort of quests, to just beat someone up. Um, you can't beat them up with arrows though, well you can bring them to near death with it, if you strike some with, a, one, with an arrow when they're almost dead, if it, it will be fatal, so you don't get death blows with arrows. Uh, the arrow that takes the final bit of health away is always fatal. So anyway, so I'm pretty sure if I'm going to say uh, either of these he's going to have me beat up at some point and take whatever he wants but i have almost no ore i have two two ore at the moment and i'm sure i'll get more later in the game when i'm selling all my stuff but i'm just going to ask him like you're threatening me is that a threat on the contrary it's an offer of friendship see it isn't though um, and the thing is, I'm pretty sure that if you give him ore now, even if I had enough to give him, um, he'll just keep demanding it every day or so until you deal with it. So, I'm not going to. You mean you want me to pay protection money? No thanks. I can take care of myself. Have it your own way, kid. You'll soon regret turning down a friendly offer. Yeah, see, ten or I don't have that, so... See ya. Take care of yourself, kid. It might be that if I said, like, oh, I don't have ten or they would go like, well, I'll take whatever you've got then. But I don't want to give him all my money. And um, I'm pretty sure this will bite me in the ass later, but uh, we'll deal with it then. So we're looking for Graham. Hi, Graham. That was efficient. Hi. Hi, I'm new here. I'm Graham. I draw maps. I haven't seen you here before. What do you want? Uh, Diego sent me. He asked you to give me a map. Yeah, give, give. Diego sent me. He asked you to give me a map with a route to the old mine. No problem. For you, only 20 ore. Ah, fuck's sake, I don't have it. He told me to give, give the map. Hold on, Diego said you should give me the map, not that you should sell it to me. But I'm not interested. Have you any idea how difficult it is to make a map like this? 20 is my special price for friends of Diego. Usually I take 50. That's a ridiculous amount of money. I'm going to steal it. Am I that much of a bastard, though? Um, I don't have the money for it. I'll, I'll come back I'll return. later. Um, I'll come back later. I'll think about it. See what it's worth for me. So yeah, as you can see, everybody wants a lot of money. Or... Okay. Go the other way. 
evening now which means everybody's getting ready for bed and stuff like that so people do have their routines which is pretty cool especially for an older game like this I, I was always a bit sad that Morrowind didn't have any of that um, but these these people have proper routines so in the evening they'll go to a communal place to have a, a meal and a drink and then they'll go into their huts for sleeping and the reason why I am staying out of their huts is because I don't want to get beaten up um, because um, I'll demonstrate hey you you're learning fast they'll warn you once and then they'll start beating on you uh, Again, they don't kill you, which is a great thing in this game. It's you don't get killed usually by um, friendly people. I use friendly in the widest sense of the word, but um, they will knock you unconscious and take your stuff. Uh, and by stuff, I mean ore. They'll take your ore. I've got a water bucket. I've got nothing to do with that. Ooh, I remember now. You can make your own weapons, which is awesome. Really, really fun. Well, I mean, it's got all the proper animations and stuff, and you need to do it correctly, and then you get a shitty weapon out of it. But it's fun to do. Um, Damn. Why did you wake me up? I didn't. I didn't. I swear I didn't. Also, I can't sneak yet, I think, which is a problem. Uh, I think the guy, um, Diego sent me two uh, fingers to teach you how to sneak. Or pickpocket. Or both. So, I'm just going to light the egg. Oh, I didn't want to talk to you. It's just a generic shadow. I just wanted to light your... Yes campfire for you. Okay, much better. Boop. Ah yes, we never did go back to the beginning to kill those little bugs, did we? Once we got our swords. And we might do that later. Not now, because it's the middle of the night. And we don't want to get killed. What I will do is I will check is anyone here nope empty I will sleep in this hut until morning be something about that story after all. It was obvious. I wouldn't like to... 